As you guys know, we are currently in three active major meteor showers. The Orionids, Northern Taurids, and the Leonids. September 23rd through December 10th, and that includes the entire month of November. In this video, I'm going to show you what look like cosmic clouds. It is in fact dust left from comets that have passed through the solar system over the millennia. This is an example of a comet that passed through the solar system in 2013. This is PanStars. And you can tell by looking at this comet that it left an incredible trail of debris behind it. Earth moves counterclockwise around the sun, entering that debris all the time, specifically right now. There's a set of cameras, cosmic cams, in Hawaii. They're known as the Keck Cloud Cams. They're very good and they have a very good look at the night sky, as you can see right here. I've chosen 10 days in November. Some of the days are, or some of the nights are cloudy and uh, we did not have a good view of the sky. But what you're gonna see is cosmic dust at the edge of space picked up by these cameras. And what uh, you're seeing is dust from comets. We are currently in three active major meteor showers and included in those meteor showers are dust clouds. And this is a fine example of those dust clouds. You can tell that they're very high in the atmosphere at the edge of space because they don't interfere with the light of the stars. There's gonna be an example in some of these video clips that I've put together of clouds that are in the lower atmosphere and they do block the light of the stars. What you're seeing right there is another good example of dust at the edge of space and it's not blocking the light of the stars because it's simply up so high. This is November 18th. There's the edge of the Milky Way galaxy. This camera faces west by the way. Those lights that you're seeing zipping through the sky are uh, airplanes and jets. <laughs> And then you'll see as the night progresses and Earth faces directly into the night sky, plowing right through these uh, cosmic clouds is when you see them the greatest, around 3 a.m., 3 to 4 a.m. And here they come right here. You can see another round of these clouds, dust clouds. And some regular clouds that are blocking the light of the stars. The clouds that are very high up do not. They almost look like uh, nebula. They do not interfere with the light of the stars at all. This is a good example here. And the shapes of these clouds change every day as Earth orbits and moves through space. The clouds are by no means going to stay the same. They're different every night. There's a good example right there. It's a cosmic cloud at the edge of space. See, it's not interfering with the stars. Now you can see some clouds in the lower atmosphere to the left blocking the light of the stars. The ones that you will see here in just a moment do not. It's because they're at the edge of space. See in the center of the video, there's the Milky Way galaxy. I think this one here too was a really good example. I found uh, some good examples the 13th through the uh, 25th. And again, this is the Keck Cosmic Cams in Hawaii. Here it comes from the left. Look at that. Almost looks like a big nebula cloud. And that says Earth is moving right through it. Counterclockwise around the sun. Look at how dark that is. That is an excellent view of the night sky.
seems another good example. This one I think almost looks like it has. Uh, you can see the lower clouds, how they're blocking the stars. The upper ones do not. One of them almost looks like an aurora. Uh, maybe it's this one. It might be the next one. I'm not sure. It's kind of neat. I've never seen this on these instruments before. They're very good cameras, but it just dawned on me that we are in three major meteor showers, so there's bound to be dust clouds. And these are at the, the top of the atmosphere, at the edge of space. I think this is the one that has the really um, pretty profound, what looks like an aurora, almost a wave through the sky. It's on the right-hand side of the uh, video. In fact, the last clip, I slow it down and I zoom in on it so you can see it. See how the sky is kind of green? Got a reddish tint to it. Coming in from the right, you'll see what looks like uh, a long, very high cloud. It's a dust cloud, cosmic dust. Yeah, here it comes. It's in the center of the video. Hope you enjoyed, guys. This is the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.